character I'm hoping is recognition of narcolepsy. I mean, there are still people who definitely have narcolepsy that don't know they have it. It's hard because I don't know how to do it yet. You know, a lot of people have done campaigns with, I think we have to go straight to the public. So I really appreciate a little bit what also what you're doing, by the way, of course, Julie, because I think the new model shouldn't be to try just get doctors to recognize better narcolepsy. I mean, this is hopeless. I mean, most of the patients that come to me, very often, it's not the doctor, it's themselves that figure out what it was. I mean, it's a different yeah. world out there. And, That's true. and I think, uh, but still, even with that, there are still people who just don't know they have narcolepsy. And I just uh, think we, we need to figure out, especially in children, I think it's really a problem because children, if we don't catch their disease very quickly, it can be irreversible. You know, they may develop uh, obesity, they can gain a lot of weight. It's so much harder to bring them back where they were, you know, when they have skid out of the road, you know, like miles away, you have to bring them back. And it's almost criminal, you know, if you don't treat a child really well from the beginning. Yeah, well, that's, that's a perfect segue. Perfect segue into what I just wanted to mention towards the end here. Um, so I just think I will, as Dr. Mignot was mentioning about awareness, I do have a few slides I just created um, to share a little bit about some of what we're doing in these areas. And I just thought it'd be easier to show you a little bit. So um, uh, let me see. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, so I'm going to move. Yeah. What? OK, you go ahead and move. <laughs> yeah, because um, I was on the sun and since I have a Good. Okay. Go ahead. Um, so Project Sleep does a lot of advocacy and we're ramping this up. So hopefully our efforts will be even more helpful to people like Dr. Mignot, um, but other researchers across the country as well. Um, we have these four principles that Project Sleep is working on, advancing sleep research, accelerating treatment options, ensuring access to healthcare. Uh, access and coverage to healthcare is a newer area that we're actually doing a lot more work in this year, uh, which is really exciting because, especially in wake of uh, COVID-19, because uh, with so many people losing their jobs across this country, we need to make sure that people will be able to continue to access affordable um, health care and be able to, you know, um, yeah, just have the treatments they need. So we're working more on that and um, further education, awareness, and training. So I just wanted to share, you guys might be familiar with a letter F we did in mid-February, and late February, and that was on the House side. And so some of the ways that those priority, you know, those big priorities um, end up playing out is that we're working to encourage NIH to continue advancing uh, the scientific understanding of um, sleep disorders. So that's encouraging more research funding at NIH um, for researchers like Dr. Mignot, but other researchers across the country. And we actually have had uh, seen some real success over the last couple of years as we are paying attention to this and we are talking to our members of Congress about this. Congress is um, letting NIH know that this is important to uh, their constituents and, and we are seeing some um, more research funding um, coming through for narcolepsy, which is really exciting over the last couple of years. We are also um, always looking to include sleep disorders in the DOD, that's a Department of Defense Research Program. Um, so that sleep disorders and, you know, uh, is being studied at the Department of Defense. The last thing and the most important that we're working on right now is um, helping to ensure that the CDC creates a chronic disease education and awareness program. So this would actually be a new program at CDC. And we started working on this last year. We got a lot of traction on the House, but we didn't get it through the Senate. So now we're working to make sure we get it through the House and the Senate to create this program which will be a mechanism that um, organizations can apply for to get funding to fund sleep and sleep disorder awareness programs. This is really important because right now, the CDC is actually spending no money, zero, on sleep disorders awareness. Um, so some of what Dr. Mignot was mentioning as far as like big public campaigns, educating, um, you know, the public, educating doctors, educating educators like uh, teachers, all of that takes money. And um, right now we have not had the funding of other areas as far as some of that campaign and awareness effort goes. So um, I just wanted to mention if you aren't yet familiar with Project Sleep's advocacy program, these are some of the things we're working on. Um, and we're, um, we're hopeful we have some great advocates now working on the Senate side uh, of these efforts um, and hope to have good results. Um, but please get involved in our advocacy if you haven't already. 
I also just want to mention as far as like when Dr. Mignot mentioned about long delays to diagnosis, we are doing this story sharing series right now and they're weekly right now. Um, every Sunday, um, and we're having our rising voices of narcolepsy advocates share their story every Sunday night. And um, so many of the stories talk about people going over 10 years without a diagnosis. So um, please join us. These stories are incredibly, um, they're, they're heartwarming, uh, these incredible people. And Lizzie will be sharing her story on Sunday. Um, and if you have missed the prior ones, uh, we have a whole series on our Facebook video library um, for you to check out. Um, and there are at least eight or nine videos right now already. Um, so you can check those out and please, um, you know, share these awareness videos. These are people's stories. Storytelling is one of the most powerful ways to educate people um, and help reduce delays in diagnosis and also to uh, reduce stigma. Um, so we're really proud of these uh, videos. And so if you've enjoyed this, please check out our other videos. Um, I did mute you, Dr. Mignot, for a second. Let me unmute you. Okay. There you are. Oh, I like this. This is nice. This window of yours. Oh, yes. I don't know. I can't see myself, but uh, oh, That's yes. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's, yes. I just did my quick advertisement for Project Seeds programming. Um, and um, that's all I wanted to add 